Are you wondering what the best breed of quail is to raise for your homestead? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video and get it all cleared up for you. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And I've been getting the question a lot lately about which is the best breed of Caternix quail or best breed of quail in general to raise for your homestead. You know, just like most things, that really depends a lot on what your final goal is. Now, I'm going to talk primarily about Caternix quail here because I kind of split those into two different species, I guess. There's Caternix quail and then there's everything else, which would be like Bob White's, Buttons, Californias, all those kinds of things. Um, some of those birds are native birds, so if you're wanting to raise birds to like release in the wild, well, this video is probably not going to apply to you. This is going to be more for people that want to raise birds for meat and for eggs. And all those other birds are all kind of out of the question to me. They don't produce as regularly as Caternix. They're not nearly as adapted to cage environment, to being raised like that. They don't produce as much eggs. They don't produce as much meat. They don't grow out as fast, blah, 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 blah. So basically, I'm going to be focusing on Caternix quail. Even in Caternix quail, there are a ton of different options you can get. And if you haven't noticed, it's a rainy Sunday afternoon here. The rain stopped, but I still got drips coming off the trees. So if you see me wiping the rain off of me, that's what it's for. But <laughs> had a short break to film this. So anyway, back to the topic. There are a lot of different types of Caternix you can choose from. There are the standard browns. There are um, jumbo whites. There are um, English whites. There's Italians. There's all kinds of different uh, Caternix quail that you can choose from. So which one do you choose? Well, my personal favorite is the Jumbo Brown. And that's what I have behind me. These are Jumbo Faro. So you have Jumbo Faro, you have Jumbo Meat Maker, basically the same bird, pretty close to the same bird. The Faros tend to lay slightly bigger eggs, slightly bigger. So if you're looking for a bird to produce eggs and meat for your homestead, and that's your sole purpose for raising quail, then I highly suggest the standard brown colors, either a Meat Maker or a Faro, Jumbo Birds. And you can get those in several places. And here's why, um, they're just, all around easier birds to handle in my opinion. Um, it's much easier, I can look at the birds and I can tell which one's a rooster, which one's a hen. Let me open this cage up and we'll see if we can see inside of it and uh, give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So I can look at these birds, I don't have to handle them all what, at whatsoever. And looking at them from a distance, I can see the breast color on this bird. This one right here is a rooster. I can tell that just by looking at them. That one right there is a hen. I can tell that just by looking at them. So that's one of the big benefits of having uh, the standard brown colors is that you can just look at them and tell if they're roosters or hens. And you can do that at about four weeks old, so pretty young. The other thing I really like about the standard browns is they seem to be calmer than the other, uh, other types of birds that I've, I've dealt with. Uh, there's not nearly as much aggression in these birds as there are in the, uh, Amer the A&Ms. My A&Ms were just vicious, attacked each other all the time. And I've got some Showfield Silvers, which I'll bring you over to show you here in a moment. And I have aggression problems with them too. Now, you're always going to have aggression problems when you mix birds in. But I'm talking about birds that have been together for a year or more together, no problems whatsoever, and then all of a sudden they turn and attack each other and start beating each other up. That doesn't happen very often, if ever, with my standard browns. It happens quite a bit with my other colored birds that I've had. All right, these are my Showfield Silvers. Let me open up this door here, and I know it's going to be hard to see from that far away, but you'll get an idea of what they look like. And they're pretty much a silvery white bird. You can see a lot of them have some feathers picked off of them. I don't know if you can tell this, but I've got a male right here, a rooster with an eye missing. He's had an eye pecked out. Um, he's healing up just fine. He's doing fine as far as health wise goes. But um, I just have more problems with these birds being aggressive than, than I ever had with the jumbo pharaohs. All right, so now there are some reasons why you might wanna keep something besides just the standard browns. The only thing I can think of is if you like the colors. If you just think a, pr oh, a white bird is pretty or an Italian bird is pretty or a tuxedo is a pretty bird, then by all means, there's no reason you can't keep those. Um, there's, they're really not any different care than what they would be with any other bird. They're still gonna produce the same amount of eggs. They're still gonna mature at about the same rate. All those other things are gonna be equal. The only difference is they just look different. The meat's the same. There is no such thing as a white meat quail. You may hear that from time to time no difference whatsoever, just the color of their feathers. And again, like I said, I have more aggression problems with these. Plus, they don't seem to get quite as big as my Jumbo Pharaohs. So for me, personally, Jumbo Pharaohs, that's the way to go when it comes to uh, what specific type of Caternix quail you want. 
You may have different goals in mind. You may want to raise something different. And if you do, that's perfectly all right. I've got videos that cover all of that information, no matter what type of Caternix quail you're going to raise. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this answered your questions. And as always, God bless.